or at least quite good, way better than I am. You know? So if F Penguin wants to hit, up, hit us with the F Ices counter pick, I'm not sure that would be the, the best idea. First best of five set because it is winner semis. I should have brought a NOS. I have two NOS in my fridge now. If someone drinks them, I might actually snap. It might be the end of it. You know, me as you know me. We're seeing White Marth starting at the fountain. Respectable start. I just kind of start Battlefield, but we're going to see a lot of. Uh, Running shine, maybe some running drills, trying to combo those into grabs. Into, you know, wave shine grab. That was just kind of a really nice zero to death from Gisp. Yeah, we're going to see a lot of Gisp. They're going to, like, just kind of... I feel like that's like Martin Fox is just God starter. It's just running shine or drill. Wave shine grab. But F Pengu's got some stuff. So we'll see if uh, that can be enough. Because this is a best of five, so even if just with a four stock game one, you still got two other games you gotta do that in. It's like, you know, still got an F to counter pick. I don't know if that stuff matters to F Pengu, but back to back to back to back. Oh my god, that would have been a kill. Was, I feel like F Pengu goes for like. You know, it doesn't respect the space of the opponent enough. Meaning that they'll go for like a really F Pengu will go for a little far away read when it's just not gonna work. You kinda gotta know the spacing of which stuff's gonna work. And F Pengu goes for some weird options, but that's never stopped anyone from winning before. So I don't know if that's the most negative thing. Yeah, you know I mean, wouldn't hurt to watch them Zane, is all I'm saying. <laughs> you know, like you can say that about every mark on the planet if it's not Zane. You know what I mean? Just check, check them out. Yeah. I guess we all run in different ways. Go <laughs> Good. Good for the F through a shine thing, because if they uh, do side B instantly off of F through, you can shine them away and they use their one resource so they only have a jump left. Or if they jump, you can just shine it too, which is way worse for them. So they will kind of instinctively go with the side B for that reason. Because it's way... Comparatively, honestly, they should just do nothing. If, uh... I think that the F Pingu back then went for the... Went for the jump. And we're kind of seeing a beat them. Minor one, you know. Kind of not walking out of this this round with some bruises. But you can't you can't if you can't finish that stuff. What went down? The, went, what have went down there and shine? But did oh, I think you living? But just kind of kind of killing on the edge guard. So I don't know if we're gonna see FD or Stadium because I'm like 90% sure that you're gonna go FD in this situation. But I don't know. If you're not confident on the chain grabs, you kind of have to just be like. CD might be good enough, but also you have good tech chase on FD. Even if you're not a chain grabber, just having no platforms is really good. Just a tech chase, because I think it's a couple F throws in uh, where you cannot, they don't go into tech, they just kind of just stand back up, they don't go into their tumble. But obviously this is the better way, right? Because you don't want to want to give them the chance. You want to give them the opportunity to get out at all. Where tech chasing, there's always that subtle opportunity, no matter how good you are at it, that they get out. With chain grabbing, there is no real opportunity. If you are not, if you are not out punishing the fox on this stage, the FD counter pick is not nearly as strong. And especially if the player has good neutral. Give these F smashes. Up smash. Do it. He wanted it. Oh, his brain. His brain would have omitted so much happy because I feel that I've seen, I've seen him go for that kind of stuff. 
There are just those Mars in the world to get their, their serotonin and dopamine from kind of doing weird stuff. That's a down so up air. So that's the counter pick not really working out here. I don't know how quiet I was. I kind of force fed the mic into my mouth. But it's sanitary. I'm wearing a mask. I remember just kind of got tilted at Marth, and it, I'm sure it still happens. It happens to the best of us, but especially when you're just kind of beating someone up, it's hard to get tilted. Please give someone a beat down, but F Pengu could reverse 3 0 and could win this game. I shouldn't count out F Pengu that quick, but I go where the momentum's going, and the momentum is very much in Gif's, Gif's favor. And 1% off from us, uh, we guarantee that they would have won the next game, but 68%, you know, Penguin still got that. I don't know if Penguin's thinking maybe Icy's, maybe Icy's, he's thinking it, but I would definitely stay Martha against Fox. So. Instead of Icy's, which is a really bad matchup. Think about going back, I think Stadium might be better. Just just in this situation, not in the, in general, but you know, in the situation of maybe you don't want FD because neutral. Neutral is king here, and Marth has a better neutral uh, in this matchup. It's not by an unclimbable amount at all. So if you cannot swing the pendulum in your favor, you're kind of going to still get ran over by Fox. If you get ran over by Fox on Yoshi's, you're going to get ran over by Fox on FD. Let's see if uh, F Penguin is doing anything with this lead and probably won't just get grabbed by the up air. There it is. Just holding shield there for three whole seconds, you know. I'm looking at the matches over there. I think someone gave, put, gave me a, <laughs> just gave me and me, someone locked an eye contact, and I was like, that's not, that's not the deal here, don't worry. I feel like F Penguin shields way too much. And, you can just kind of walk up grab. It's super broken in general. If you get Fox a grab, even off of Shine grab, it's like, thank God. But I don't know. Up throw up here is SDIable, but up throw back here, even there would have killed. At least put Martha in a real bad position. If I, I think there's a percent here. Ooh, missing F smash here. It does do a lot of those kind of those checks that are easily avoidable. But you know, if F Penga doesn't kind of pick it up, I might see. Oh, <laughs> kind of see Jeff. Oh, misses the Ken combo. Doesn't get F smash off. It does the wave trying grab up tilt. Doesn't try to do a little reverse snare action there. You could have probably done first hit up there. Going for literally anything. Just kind of like desperation. We all look desperate in our, in our last stops, so though. Every single one of us. Oh, I'm missing the ledge. Alright, you're. Alright, just, just being mean. Bullying a little bit. I, I respect a good old fashioned in bracket bullying myself, but I'm toxic. But I'm just super toxic, so. Oh, is this it? Oh, it hits the ledge dash. If the Penguin won this game through just, just being rude. Alright. And I think that's every single option yet. And that's a 3 0 for Jisp. 